everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm actually doing really well. Uh, it's a Monday morning, yay! And I think I can get a little bit of work done today at my desk, so that's a good thing. Uh, what I wanted to show you is something else that I do with my scraps. This I've been doing for quite a while now, but I thought, you know, it would be a great idea to show you. So, what this is, as you can see, it's from Lush. It's their cosmetic catalog, and I've got three of them here, and they're all in different stages. This is the first one, and what I do, I take this book, I glue two pages together, kind of like you do in any type of magazine, and then I just play, and I just start playing around in it, whether it's with whatever, it doesn't matter, gesso or... Um, I think these are some oil pastels. I just play around in it, okay? So this is just when I'm in the mood to just scribble and put down some color, this is what I do. So that's one stage of it. The front, I think I need to glue that back down again. Um, the front has been collaged. And just because I know that's coming off, let's glue it again. There we go. Um, with scraps. These are actually the tops that come off papers, uh, scrapbook papers. When I use those, I always save them. A couple stickers, okay, and some scraps on the back. All right, so that's stage one of the stages. This one is a little bit more. Um, I've used washi tape, just little bits and pieces that I have, and what I do is I go through and I work on putting down more scraps. Okay, everything that's in here is nothing but scraps. I have a couple big boxes and I try to keep them to a bare minimum and it's, let me tell you, it's hard. So um, this is just another stage of the journal that I'm making it into. Again, scraps, I had a thing with three different words of purple on it. I've got, you know, a, a long border that came off one of my scrap papers. It says best friends. Um, this came from a border that I had, little piece of scrap ribbon, okay? So you get the idea, uh, just little scraps here and there, half of a circle that I didn't use, some punch outs, a ticket, I mean it's just random scraps, okay? And then, whoops, I'm not done with this one yet, I worked on this quite a bit yesterday, just had fun with it. Uh, this page is stuck together and that's my fault. Because what I do is I glue stuff, and then I move the page. I shut the pages. I knew that was going to happen, too. Um, that's okay. It's no big deal. Take off the glue so the glue doesn't do it again. Okay. And big deal. It's a little piece white. So you can see how they start. They just start out just scraps laid down. Another page. Hmm. I had him on something, I cut him out, so he's stuck there. See, just little bits and pieces. That page has still got a lot of work to be done to it. Okay, so that's the second stage. Third stage, this is the actual journal. Um, this was off a card that my mom had given to me, and again, she's the only person that calls me that. <laughs> Lucinda, that is my name. Um, this is a sticker that my sister gave to me. All right, then what I do is I start playing in them. I start playing in them with pens. This was an old jelly print or I don't know, something. Um, and I just start having fun with the pages. I'll do some doodling. Maybe I'll throw a collage piece on. A um, little bit of glitter. And the thing I like about this journal is I don't have to have beautiful, pretty pages. These are just pages that when I feel like I want to play, I come to this journal and I play. Bring in. Um, are these pages done? Probably not. I will continue to come in and doodle. This girl I got on here, big drip from something. That was something that my granddaughter had made. I still, you know, I need to work on her. I need to figure out this page. But I wanted to show you what you can do with your scraps. And 
you don't have to have anything special to do this. Um, if you get a magazine in the mail, sit down, glue every two pages together. If it's too thick, tear out some pages. Um, take an old magazine, cut out some collage, and just put down your scraps. I got a rub on fish and a turtle here. I don't know, I just tip out. Um, this was actually off a thing of beer. See, and I just, this is an old, um, I had taken, uh, sorry, I can't think, texture paste, modeling paste, and that was off a of stencil, and I just laid it down and rubbed it on, and there it is. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I had left over, put on here. Um, this came from Ann Williamson, as well as this from one of our swaps quite a while ago. And these pages, you know, I've doodled a little bit, but are they done? No. They're a long way from being done. Oops. Don't know. Some foam letters I had left over. This girl is actually part of the original page, and I thought she's kind of cool, so made a little dress, covered up the bottom of her, made a little dress, and again, I still have all the doodling and that to do. I don't know what these two are going to be. Who knows? Oops, sorry about the glare. I have my overhead lights on because it's kind of dark in here today. Um, I just love that picture. Again, stuff that I received in swaps or little pieces. When I find a collage I think will be cool on a page, you know, that's what happens. This I was playing around. I bought a $5 um, spinner machine at a place called Five Below. I don't even think I have it anymore. Um, if I do, it's put away. But I was just playing around with some inks and some paints, and so I stuck that down here. <laughs> this little bear. I had an easel. I thought that was kind of cool. Eyeballs peeking out. Like I said, a lot of this is all... It is. I can't say a lot of it. All of it is scraps. With the exception, that came from a... A swap that's a calendar piece um, you know with exception of some of the collage pieces and some of the die cuts but even then you know there's scraps that are left over this was the actual page um, of the girl and I thought she was kind of cool so I just kind of kept her there and again who knows what it's going to end up being like you know who knows what the page is going to be like I think I put a couple things on here yesterday a piece of that plastic This was a tag that um, I had put so much media on it that it was ripping because it was so saturated. So I just cut it apart and it's great texture in here. I know you can't feel it, but it's been embossed. It's great texture. Okay, open me, open me, open me. An elephant. All right. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so don't, you know, don't look at your scraps as though, you know, they're worthless and there's nothing you can do with them. You can always find something to do with scraps and just play. Play in your journal. And, you know, when it comes to layers, um, I just continue to put on what I think looks good on that page. And eventually it will be to the point where I'll be like, okay, yeah, I've got to stop. Like, for example, here on this page. I see these two coming up. But I see some sporadic going on here. So I definitely will put some more down here. Whether it covers up what's there or not, I don't know. It just depends on what I'm in the mood to lay down at that time. Okay? So I just wanted to share these with you. Um, I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration. And I hope it, that, you know, you take your scraps and have fun with them and play with them. Because, you know, why throw them away? I don't want to send them to the landfill. Let's just put them in a book instead. So as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.